I've got a guy from uh, QVC, or used to be with QVC, and he is the best. I mean, he is the best salesman on the planet. And he's going to do a little pitch for me. And he asked if I'd write a script. And I'm not into doing that. So I says, look, I'd probably feel better if I just went in camera and I'll do something. I'll just make something up and you can put it in your own words. And I've been here for four hours. And it's two in the morning. And everything I've produced is crap. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys. Because it always goes well with you guys, you know. I want to talk about the web development industry very quickly. And I have some news for you that's going to be quite shocking. Now, as you know, I've been away. I haven't really been here too much lately. The reason for that is because, well, I'm I'm busy. Busy getting out of here. <laughs> um, this is an okay wee flat. Apparently, this is like... Somebody told me yesterday this was listed in one of the most desirable neighbourhoods, but it doesn't feel too desirable to me, you know. So I'm going to be getting out of here soon, and in order to get the kind of place that I'd like, uh, I'm going to have to raise my game and basically get involved in the marketplace for a while, which I'm really excited about, you know. But the upshot of it is I've been working very hard. Can you handle that? And that's the vibe. It may continue to be the vibe for a wee while, I don't know. But let me talk about you for a second. What's the vibe with you? Into, you know, I have a lot of web developers watch this. Are you enjoying the web development stuff? Everything okay? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It's all coming to an end. All of it. I was watching a Netflix documentary a while ago and it was about these arcade game champions from the 80s, you know? And uh, it seems mad to think about it, but there was a time when, like, there was a Pac-Man world champ and a Space Invader world champ. These people would be treated like celebrities, you know, um, they were all on the cover of all sorts of magazines and touring the world and everything, and now, well, they're just kind of regular guys, they work in, the guy that they feature, I think he works in a factory somewhere now, just ordinary people, you know, and it's funny because we of the web development community, we have our heroes, we have our rock stars, you know, these genius developers who produce this incredible stuff, and at this point in time, they almost seem almost kind of godlike, you know, it's like you can't even hold a conversation with them, they're so intelligent, and it's incredible and all of that, but is it not a funny thought? to think that in, who knows, 20 years or something, they might end up just being like those arcade game champions, you know, hanging about in some pub saying, yeah man, I used to be a really well-known web developer. It's a tough racket. Well, call me Mr. Doom and Gloom, but I think that's exactly what's going to happen. You see, I've been spending some time working on um, machine learning stuff. Now, I'm no genius. In fact, I'll be entirely honest. I'm still trying to get my head around the basics. Like, I am a beginner, you know. But I've gone through enough of it to see where this is all going. And I'm telling you right now, folks, if you think that Wix is bad, wait until you see what's coming up. The great irony is that the programmers are going to be one of the first to be replaced, you know, by AI. We're going to be the first. And in the future, 
anyone who wants a website or an IT system, they're just going to go like this. Alexa, build me a website. Make it look kind of like CNBC, but with the same features of Amazon, with rounded buttons and a nice purple background and something that goes with that. And then it's going to build it. Oh, you'd like a mailing list feature. Uh, Alexa, add a mailing list feature. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like. There's absolutely no reason why not. And all of this is coming to an end. Um, some of you may not be aware of this, but about four or five days ago, there was a huge technological breakthrough and they're saying that this is us basically another step closer towards achieving singularity. Is it a singularity or this singularity or just singularity? Who cares? Anyway, go look that word up. This is the moment when the, the computers become as intelligent as us, even more intelligent than us. And they say that when this happens, when they achieve a certain threshold, you're going to see dramatic changes in society. Now, it's not all bad news, by the way. Um, there's actually a lot of really good news. For example, the in the field of medicine, over the next seven years, you are going to see some incredible stuff coming out. I'm talking about cures for just about everything. I'm talking about organs being grown in the laboratory. Somebody says they're already doing that. Let me tell you something. I headed to see, you guys know that my hair is an ongoing soap opera. It's a shambles. And I saw one of the hair transplant clinic joints a couple of weeks ago and they quoted me uh, well depends six grand if I go cheap and ten grand if I go all in you know and I headed in there and basically they've got this wee thing and they take hairs out and then they chuck them in now I had that done uh, in 2008 and I completely regretted it like don't get it right you just, just go bald. There's nothing wrong with it. Be, uh, you know, I, I don't have the option now. I'm all scars. and I'm, Anyway, it's another story. But I headed in and I thought, well, maybe if I get another one and that'll kind of be cool. And the guy was showing me the new thing and how they take one at a time and all that. And they were so proud of it. And I thought, that's cool. And then I came home and I thought about it. And I thought, this is like Stone Age technology. You know, like you get a bit there and you move up. This is ridiculous. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to get that done. I'm going to wait a few years and then get something incredible done. Something that is not out there yet. And I'm telling you, that's the way it's all going to go. It's as, as sure as anything. This is happening, you know. Um, Elon Musk describes the AI revolution as being like a tsunami that's coming in. And I'm telling you folks, it's going to change everything. The hilarity is that being intelligent, you know, like a lawyer or a doctor or a programmer, that's no guarantee of job security. As a matter of fact, um, those professions really are in the front line. I mean, the lawyers have had it. The lawyers are gone. <laughs> I've, um, I don't want to say anything disrespectful, but I've, I've had lawyers coming to me, begging me for help because they cannot get work, you know? And it's just a bad time to be a lawyer, you know? There's a site called Legal Zoom. And the idea is you go on, you say what you want, I'd like a divorce, you know, select. And as far as I can tell, it's like, it gives you a PDF, you know, post that, and that's your divorce, you know. Um, maybe, maybe not quite, but I think that's the general idea. And it's it's going that way, you know. So the career of um, 
lawyer is gone. All of the drivers, you know, 10% of the working population drive, right? They're all drivers, taxi drivers, truck drivers and all that. They're all gone. Web development's gone. Or at least it will be. Um, and it's going to be really, really heavy, you know? It's going to be really, really heavy. So, the, well, there's two questions, right? When and what you're going to do. So, in terms of the when, I've spent quite some time looking into that. And this is just a prediction. But my prediction is seven years. I think we've got seven years. And you know what's funny? There are people right now who are at school who have applied to study web development at university. And maybe next year they'll go in and do a web development degree. And maybe some of them will do a postgraduate whatever. And you know what's funny? When they finish that, when they finish that, university degree, there will be no web development industry. None. Zero. Isn't that a mind-blowing thought? Can you imagine that? I mean, I've been a web developer for 21 years. I mean, on and off, you know. Um... Maybe when I started off, I wasn't quite a web developer, actually. But I've been involved in this game since 1996. And you know something, folks? Nobody is going to do that. My accent's everywhere. Nobody's going to do that again. You know, there will never be... The only guy I know who's been in the game longer than me, by the way, is Steph Mischuk. Um, and I think only by about a year, you know. But guys like myself and Steph Mischuk, we are like the last. There will not be somebody in 20 years saying I've been doing web development for 20 years. There is no chance. I was one of the lucky ones, you know. I've had two decades out of this and I've loved it. I still love it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's the most exciting industry imaginable. Um, but it's all coming to an end. And you know, it's funny. Sometimes I have ideas for these YouTube videos and I think to myself, like for example, I had an idea for a video recently, Bootstrap is Dead. And I was going to talk about the grid system and stuff like that. And then I was going to do a video on PHP's dead and explain that. And then I was going to do how uh, the front-end JavaScript frameworks are all dead. And I could do those videos. And I, I think I could do a, a nice little speech and a presentation and all that for 20 minutes. And some people would like it and some people would not. But I'm sure it would get people thinking, you know. But you know what, folks? What's the point? The truth is that the whole industry will be gone. And I'm saying seven years. It might be a lot sooner. And so, well, that's the first question, when. I'm saying seven years, okay? I think we've got seven years. The next question is, what are you going to to do? How are you going to respond to this electrifying message from the guy with the crazy mic? What are you going to do? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm very clear about what I'm going to do. And if you'd like to know what you should be doing, and what I'm going to be doing, by the way, then you should join me in the very next video. I'll catch you later.